गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग सर सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई थिंक यू नी कलेक्ट वी हैड कंडक्टेड एक्सपेरिमेंट्स सो दैट यू गेट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ कॉन्केव मिरर द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द इमेज फॉर्मेशन एक्सेट्रा एंड देन वी हैव सीन द ऑब्जेक्ट एट डिफरेंट पोजीशंस वी गेट इमेज एट डिफरेंट पोजीशंस एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टॉप्ड एट व्हाट पॉइंट At what point have you have to stop? The last class. Come on. Louder. So, so we were here. You remember? Yes. Things were the five variables. Of course, if you are taking a concave mirror fixed in an experiment, then focal length is fixed. Okay. You can pull the chair in the front. Sit comfortably. Go. You can pull it in the front. Okay, comfortably. However, you want. So then. You see, in the last class we have stopped at this point. Okay, that is the image distance depends upon the object distance and the focal. And so, therefore, the image distance b is a is a typical function of U function of u and f. What do you mean by function? It depends on relation. B is related to u and f. So this is simple. And yesterday you see we have seen one relation relation between a y variable and the x variable, and that was denoted by this. And what was the function for this relation? See now a graph is representing the relation. For this relation, the function is y is equal to 2x, right? And we did y is equal to 3x plus 1 different relation, etc. So y and x are related, but how are they related? Well, certain other conditions will tell you how they are. Related. Right now here also you see b is related to u and f. You saw that as the object was being moved up and down, then the image was also moved. So there is a relation. You understand? Huh? Huh? See now I am moving this pen. Are you moving? <laughs> no relation. But there it was related. Okay? Huh? Then similarly, the height of the image was varying in accordance with the height of the object and also the object distance and of course the focus. So h is related by another function. H is related by another function. What is it? It depends upon phi two, the name of the function. So now, so our job is now to give what is the relation. So that is physics. So we have experienced it. We have theorized it. Now we have to determine the relation. Got it now? Every time I am going to teach you physics, something new. This is the format. Experiment करो, experience करो. वो जो एक्सपीरियंस किया आपने उसको रिप्रेजेंट करो ठीक तरीके से ऐसा नहीं कि तुम आर्टिस्ट हो तो स्केच ड्राइंग कर दिया नहीं मैंने जो डायग्राम्स लिखा ना वो सब एक ना रूल्स देर इज रूल देर इज रूल्स फॉर ड्राइंग द स्केचिंग द फिजिकल ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके रे डायग्राम एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एंड देन द रिलेशन इज ए कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ वॉट ऑफ द Loss. See, incident ray and reflected ray are related by the laws of reflection. So we are going to use the laws of reflection, and because of the reflection, there is image, and we are going to still use that. And in addition, you are going to use many more what tools. So we are going to use geometry. We are going to use trigonometry. We are going to use uh, calculus. We are going to use so many things. These are the tools. Math, we physicists use mathematics as a tool, so that we can measure, we can quantify. You understand? We can measure, we can quantify. Okay? There is qualitative and there is quantitative. Everything that we study in physics is quantitative, right? Okay. See, you start from a simple concept, which is a qualitative format, quantitative format, and there is a description. There is a description for whatever physics. Whatever concept that you are going to learn, whatever physical quantity that you are getting into, right? So also everything has happened the way science has happened. Now we are going to determine the relation. Okay. So for that, well, we are seeing this, you know, different positions, right? Okay. So we are taking some position. Ah. Huh. Now what do you see in front of you? Come on. For now, what you tell? Then uh, things will move fast. What do you see in front of you? Hello. Yes. So you see a mirror, and I have marked 
the pole of the mirror and then of course I mark the focal uh, focus for the principal focus I mark the principal focus for you right huh? and uh, the center of curvature is here and then what else you see you see a object what object a right and it is perpendicular and it is an extended object. See, this is all you should tell. Unless you specify like this, it doesn't get specified. See, whatever you speak in physics, it should be unambiguous. And the one the meaning is the meaning of the meaning of the And it should be complete. Then only you are closer to the truth. By learning physics properly, you will become great human beings. Why? You will know how to communicate. <coughs> you will know how to speak the truth. You will be able to absorb the truth. That is one of the important outcomes of learning physics. Okay? You can say Kaim Steve, you can say Swami Vivekananda, you can say Mahatma Gandhi, you know, Abdul Kalamji, anybody. See, they are all great scientists. And they all said, well, they are all, their names also appear in philosophy and science. Okay? So, in a way, science and philosophy, yes, you know, they come closer. They are, they are one and the same, right? Huh. <coughs> so, therefore, now, we direct extended object A. Then you see that this uh, object is beyond C and as a consequence you know the image is between F and C. Right. And then uh, the object is erect, the image is also right. And that's why I showed you this 90 degrees. And the height of the object is H O, the height of the image is H. -O. And then you see I marked the distances. You can see that I marked the distances. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, so you can see U. U stands for what? Objective V stands for what? Image F stands for? Focal Excellent. Excellent. Huh. This is how you have to respond. See, your response gives me confidence that you have understood. I can proceed further. Huh. Now, there is, there are some more rules that you have to understand. See, rules are not made by politicians here. Okay? Rules are made by scientists. Rules are made by scientists. And the rules have some logic. It is not that it is illogical. Right? They have some basis. They have some reason. Now, what is it? So I said object and distance. Now be careful. Hmm? See, here you see, if the object moved towards the mirror, the image moved away from the mirror. Correct now? Yes, sir. So it's not only the it is not only the distance, it is also the, the direction in which the object and image are moving. You understand? Uh, now supposing I make two of you stand here. Okay? And you move like this. What will you do? Will you move? You will move ground or other in a There is no rule. But here you see there is a definite rule. I mean, nature, nature. ये ऑब्जेक्ट ऐसा आ रहा है, इमेज ऐसा जा रहा है, तो उसकी दिशा में भी कुछ रिलेशन है, है कि नहीं? तो हम उसको भी कंसीडर करना है, जो हकी कहते हैं, उन सब को कंसीडर करना है, तो कैसे कंसीडर? इसलिए देर आर सम वे बाय विच यू लुक, हाँ, नाउ यू सी, द लाइट इज़ फॉलिंग ऑन द ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट, एं the light is falling on the object and it is being reflected and it is going towards the mirror. Correct? So, from, so now I consider only point E. I will consider only point E. So from point E, in which direction is the light, light traveling towards the mirror? It is traveling in this direction. It is traveling in this direction. Correct? Yes, parallel to the instant Okay? <coughs> now, you see, this is the pole of the mirror. This is the pole of the mirror. Now, what you will do? You will keep the end of the uh, tape here and you will measure the object distance. You will measure the object distance. So you see, you will keep the uh, you will keep the you will measure the object distance from this other reference. That is the zero here will coincide with this zero and you will measure the distance here 
Now for all practical purpose, A is equal to C dash. Hello? Yes. Understood? Yes, so we are idealizing the condition. What is the condition? That A is a very small object. You know? See, you studied mechanics. In mechanics, you are introduced to the concept called particle. What is particle? Uh, Loud. What is particle? Building up. Jor matad. Smallest part of uh, it's the smallest part of which everything is made up of. Smallest part which everything is made up of. That is particle. No. What is particle? Come on, anyone. You have used that word particle so many times. Come on, tell. Whatever you understood, you tell. I will correct. You. Yes, Rish, you can also answer. Don't sit down there. Come on, be active now. Shout your answers. All of you. Huh? Sirish, he is on online. Ask. Sir, the smallest bits of the uh, of matter. Smallest bits of the matter. No. Is earth a particle? Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, yes, sir. Hey, particles make up the living world. The particles make up the living world? No. That is not how physics people should look at it. You are not, I, we are not discussing biology here, right? Is earth a particle? Yes. yes Loud? Yes, yes, sir. Are you sure? Always earth is a particle? No, no, yes, sir. Understood now? Always earth is not a particle, but is earth a particle? Yes, sir. If, is earth always a particle? No, sir. So, earth is earth. Right? This is this. So, this is looking tall. Now you go, keep going away after some say 100 meters. How will this look? Like it looks like a dot. It will become a particle. And should yes, it will become a particle. So particle concept is this. Why it becomes a particle when you go far off? Why this is not a particle now? And if you go far off, why does this become a particle? Its size will be different. Its size will be? No, we can see it small. You can see it small. Okay, that is, doesn't convince a physicist. Sir, so the object distance, uh, the further it is, the smaller it is. That is it. That is that is what you. That is what is this. You go far off, it will look small. But why do you call it as a particle? Because particle nature is that it is the smallest. You understand? Not that clear. Particle nature is that it is the smallest thing. So it. Uh, for particle us. nature, no. There is nothing called particle. Now only you. There is there something called particle? Is earth a particle? Uh, is earth not a particle? You only told it is both. So uh, there is nothing special in a particle. Why do you call it as a particle? See, that is what I told students. Learn physics, man. In physics, we identify everything by its properties. We call a cat a cat because it has the properties of a cat. We call a thing a particle because it has the part it has the properties of a particle. Understood? So the earth has certain properties when you are here. When you go very far off, its properties are different. What property of earth will become different? If you see what property of this will become different if you go very far off? Its size has. Its size has. Ah, its size has not changed. This is not a particle. When you take very far off, this becomes a particle. Why it becomes a particle? So that see, you try to lead physics. What the properties make it like this? And when you go far off, what properties make it look? It is a particle. What properties? Here, you can measure its height. You can measure its diameter. Hello? Yes, sir. When you go very far off, can you measure its height? No, can you measure it this one from very far off? No. You cannot measure its physical dimensions. So a particle doesn't have physical dimensions, length, breadth, height, volume, nothing. That is what you call it as a particle. It is there, but you can't measure the physical dimensions. It is there, you can't measure the physical level. That is why you start calling such a entity as particle. You got it? All of you? Hey, Sirish, did you get it? Keep, keep your mind. Yes, sir. Uh, you keep telling yes, sir, in between. Okay? Well, that's this one. Tomorrow, when you address some public, your voice is something which is going to make the, even the sleepy come away. Okay? Right. Okay, fine. Did you understand now, particle? Yes, sir. Uh, so, now, for all practical purpose, AE should be so small that it is not a particle but almost equal to a particle. 
But it, ha, physics should be learned like this only. Really. You have to conceptualize. You have to conceptualize. You have to create ideal conditions. Then only learning is possible. Real conditions you will study in your higher classes. He goes, for example, Sandor is okay. Okay, so you know when you are very small, three years, four, five years, six years old, your parents used to take you to a movie. Okay, so there was some, um, you know, emotional scene, love scene, and all in the movie. So I remember I used to ask my brother, Papa, Papa, what is it? What is it? Remember what she can tell me? Then I had to go to my father. Yeah, Sukula. I'll be not shh, and also. Get to her, I can adapt her mom with the young inquisitive to go with me. ये नहीं आ गया तो तोड़ दिया तो विषय हो गया दोटा दोटा में ना हम तो उसी नाम पे ऐसे भी मर जाता है अलग अलग बात नहीं होती हो गया हाँ हाँ गलाई फिर तो तो हम गए ये गए चलो बस तो पार्टी कला ना पार्टी कला ना ये तो आइडियल कंडीशन क्या टे एक्स मुंदर रियलिटीज निम्बो करता फिर तो अंडरस्ट� don't don't tell the student that I am wasting your time and all, but I am building your mindset and this is extremely important. If you want to crack any competitive examination, you should know how to learn that subject. You are learning physics like history, geography, then you will not do anything in life. Then at the when you are in PUC2, you will come to know, oh, I should have learned like this. Then it is too late. Okay? Then now also it will be clear because these things I am building in eight standard students. Okay? Uh, I should have built, but anyway. Better late than never. So understood now, object distance implementation measured from the principal. That is one thing. Now, understood? Okay. Now, listen very carefully. The rays are traveling in this direction. Hello? Yes, yes, sir. And the distance is measured in this direction. Hello? Yes, sir. From the pole to this. Huh. Now you see, the rays are traveling like this, the distance is measured like this. So whatever distance you measure opposite to the direction of the Rays traveling, then those quantities become negative quantities. So the object distance, see now the distance from P to E is say uh, one meter. Distance that is you to keep that thing. But then if you write u is equal to u is equal to minus one. one. U is equal to minus, minus one. Meter. See, the problem is this. Some of you, whatever I told now, you are not interested. So you said, this fellow is telling story, some was seeing, watch. You learn, learn physics. You need patience. You don't have patience. What did I tell you? You tell. Okay, now let me tell you your confusion. Tell. Asking, ask, love. No sir, I will just confirm like Confirm, one second. The rays will be traveling in one direction and if you measure the distance in the opposite direction, it will become negative. So the distance is actually much bigger. See, same thing. Your last class also you did, now also you are trying to generalize. Why you want to generalize? See, simple now. Why you want to complicate it? The rays are traveling towards the mirror and you are measuring from the pole to the object. So the direction of measurement is like this. But the direction of rays are like this. Are they not opposite? What is the what is the confusion here? No, sir, it is actually one meter than hurdle. Like Louder! It. But the actual distance is one meter, no, so hurdle take as negative. So. That is what I am trying to tell you the rules. That is what I am trying to tell, tell the rules. Right? See, see, now, now, when you okay, wait a minute, I will consider. U is minus one meter. Then B. Image distance. So image distance B is equal to what? Approximately tell. Tell those of you who have understood your tell correctly. What is B is equal to? Louder. Minus 0.5. Minus 0.5. Correct. This is why I understood. Minus 0.5 meters. Okay. Now cool. Cool. Hmm? Now supposing I take the object from here to here. Where is the image touch? Correct. Now, what is this U? What is U? Approximately. Louder. Hey, here, oh, you get approximate distance. You have to do that. Soon, good. All of you, you also. Huh? What is the distance? 
ದೆನ್ ಹೌ ಶುಡ್ ಐ ಬಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕಲಿಸಿ ಹೋಗೋದು ತಪ್ಪಿದ್ರ ಮತ್ತೆ ಯಾರು ನಾನು ಹಿಡಿ ಸರಿಯೇ ಪಾನಿ ಇದು ಇಷ್ಟು ಬರೋಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಇಡೀ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗೈತೆ ನಾನು ತಿಳಿತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಅಫ್ರೇಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಫ್ರೇಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮಡಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಐ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಐ ಲರ್ನ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ನೀವು ಮುಂದೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಯರ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಗುಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಸಂಕುಚಿತ ಭಾವನೆಯನ್ನು ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ವೇಸ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಏಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಅದೇ ಓ ನಾನು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಆಗಬೇಕಾಗಿತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಲಿಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಅದೇ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಲಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಮಂಡಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಾಂ ಸೊ ಐ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವ್ So if I say the focal length of a spherical mirror is minus 0.25 meters, then what does it mean? It is a concave mirror. And you should know if I put the physical test with the condition. See, so simple like this. Physics has got your life, my life, so simple. Vindas, correct? Yes, yes sir. Okay, huh. don't worry. Yeah? Huh? so these basic fundas you learn properly everything else will become perfect for you in the future okay fundas are strong future is strong fundas are weak future is weak so so i have introduced you this ha ah, one more question now we are showing everything on a plane because actually it is 3d ha ah. but still i am showing it as a 2d image and i am correct why if okay. this is the mirror if i have mirror here and i have the object here where can the image be and suppose it is on the principal axis where can the image be yes principal axis it can also be on principal axis but can it be like this image no can it be like this no sir it will be like this only no yes sir so it will be on the same plane here here it will be on the same plane you can pass it like so you don't need a 3d image here yes, sir. you need 2d only understood yes. so that is why 2d constructions are sufficient got it understood ha huh. but in engineering you need to really get the 3d vision so you need to use xyz coordinates here you don't have to use xyz coordinates is it clear to all of you yes huh? sir ha huh. power hote hedar ko bad ha this is working on this uh, side so measurements made above the principal axis are positive measurements made below the principal axis are negative so here you see if i say h o is equal to plus 2 meters means what it is it is, is above the principal axis h i is minus 1 below the principal axis inverted below ka matlab hai it is inverted chinha sign me sab kuch hai u is equal to minus andaaz lagana bahut aasan hai that means the object is in front of the mirror v is equal to plus object is behind the mirror h is image is behind the mirror thank you h is h o is plus 0.25 it is like this h o is minus object, object itself is full down what for example now in the real image it's uh, inverted that is why we are taking it as a negative huh. what if it is behind the mirror and erect i just not did no plus one plus one. Huh. so if it is behind and erect huh. for concave mirror then h o is positive h i is also positive yes sir obvious see science is so simple okay so, even sudhir murthy buddhu can also learn science is written like this and you are all wonderful students you just use your common sense this is a rule you will get get the reality yes see by using sign convention etc you are coming closer to the reality what i mean i am able to communicate and what i mean you are understanding the same way i wanted you to be because i had something in my mind that the object is erect <coughs> and it is in front of the concave mirror So I said u is equal to minus one meter. H O is plus zero point two five meters. So you understood what I mean? Object is 
minus 0.5 meters, object distance is minus 0.5 meters in front of the concave mirror and the image or uh, the object <coughs> height HO is minus 2.5 meters. So, communication is pakka, jo mere dil mein tha, ab, ab, ye hui, ab te dil mein. So, I have my duty correct. I have said that 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 I have I have said that 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 I so, I have to say that 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 I have to say So, what is the mistake here? Communication. So, you are not trained to understand what I said. I am not trained to understand how to tell you. <coughs> that is why communication problem. Many times misunderstanding goes up because communication problem. We are not able to communicate. We communicate that. Now, physics will take which problem in communication is going to be. Science, see, this is what you have to learn. You have to learn the sciences. And you can use this in your real life. You can communicate. You will learn, you will get that attitude. Okay? And that is basically. Anyways, I have prepared the right groundwork for this tomorrow's class. I will do the derivation, but this is necessary. <coughs> I have seen students in my experience. This uh, <coughs> sign convention. Oh, I am going to do something here. Huh. This sign convention is extremely important. Students don't understand the sign convention and science convention. <coughs> okay, I am ending the class. Uh, tomorrow I will continue. We will do the derivation.